world famous psychic twins have been listening to Aquinas talk about her boyfriend David. She's suspicious. His text messages, his voicemails, his MySpace page. She wants to know is he cheating? Also, what is that other thing called? The womp womp? The womp womp. That she wants to know the womp I'm womp tired feeling. Of the womp womp. She has a womp womp feeling of yeah. I feel like something's going on. I gotta use that on the on the entire yes. show, the womp womp. So uh, the, the our real life lie detectors are here, our psychic twins, and they're going to help us decide if he is cheating. I love it. It's like he wants to be a millionaire. Okay, so Terry and Linda, tell us what you think about Aquina and David's relationship, first of all. Okay, I feel like, David, you've had a lot of abandonment in your life. Have Is you? Is that true? Yes, it feels like people you were very close to have left you through death or other ways. Yeah. And Is that true? Tell us who. That, that's really true. Um, biological my mother? adopted mother. Yes. Oh. Right. And and adoptive, so both. Your biological no, mom. No, uh, my biological mom is still living. <laughs> but um, is she in your life? In your life? Uh, I. She's in my life, but I don't see her as much as I should. Yeah. And then your adopted mom left. Uh, she passed. passed. She passed. Okay. Because yeah. she's coming it? in around you. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And I feel like that's a big problem in relationship because you haven't really grieved the loss of your mother. That's correct. Okay. So that's really important, David. And Aquina, how many red flags do you need? How many yeah. red flags do you yeah. need to see that David just isn't ready? He's he isn't ready, ready for marriage. Yeah. But you yeah. are like a pocket on a shirt. You're just so handy. If No matter how he treats you, you are right there for him. You idealize it. You're rationalizing. Oh, my God. Pocket on it's a shirt? I love that. <laughs> He can put his pins in there. He can put his dirty booger uh, tissues in there. <laughs> you know what? I've never heard that, of a pocket that is, on a shirt. And that's exactly how I feel. Yeah. Like, just a used up person that's just oh. there. And he can come and what, woo, woo, press the button like I'm a robot and yes. then walk away. Press the button, come back, and yeah. walk away. That's exactly And it's how okay I feel. with you, but it's why okay. is it okay with you? Yeah. Because I love this man. I mean, he is, you know, the most greatest thing that's ever happened to me. Um, Okay, he did score some points there. <laughs> Before I met him, I had a really bad insecurity problem. I, you know, was not confident in the way I look with my skin complexion and just my all-out looks. And here this wonderful guy comes, and he accepts me for who I am. You know, with the makeup, without makeup on, everything. He mm. tells me, you know, I'm beautiful and just accepts me for who I am. And that's but he's making you crazy. crazy. He is making crazy. me crazy. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so let's, let's, crazy. Go, yeah. let's go to the uh, text message that he received from oh, yeah. a coworker. Okay. Uh, is he lying and said that it, it was a uh, non-sexual, well, not, not non, we, you know, not We feel flirting. that there's, you're being less than honest about this, David. And we're not judging here, but we really feel that you need to be absolutely honest with Aquinas. Right, in right. order to go forward, there are withholds of, that you know you're not telling her everything that's going on, and she's very clear sentient. That means she has a clear a sense, a gut feeling about what's true. She needs to trust that. You're making her a little crazy because she's right a lot, but you are denying what she's feeling. So they're feeling that you're not telling the truth. So what are you no, not telling the truth about? It's not like that. Um, me and the coworker, we did talk. She does like me. You know, and she did text me a lot, and we did say some things, flirt a little bit, but I never cheated on the But he had never had sex with her at all? No. I believe him. No. I believe him. So but he's I. not being honest about the text. Yeah, the text and... Your, and text. a MySpace message. The MySpace message. message. I thought we talked about that. I told you I did it. I don't it. know why you do it, though. Why would I was you say mad. something like that? I was that? mad at you. Mm. I was okay, mad at you. Okay, you're mad at me. I mean, people mess up, you know what I'm saying? People do things, crazy things, when they get mad. Yeah. That's that why you guys. That person just happened to be the person that would listen to me at that moment. Yeah. And I kind of so vented. Why, okay, why were you texting that girl? I texted her, but we never did anything. Does that count for something? What, uh, to, me, like, to me, cheating, to me, David, there's different types of cheating. Yeah. There's mental emotional, cheating. It's emotional, emotional cheating. Exactly. Right. Why right. would you text her in the first place? But it's not like I'd let her on like we were going to be in a it relationship matter, or though. anything you like that. Am I not allowed to you have female her, friends? Okay, but you're telling her things. I mean, you have guy friends. But there's a difference but between a guy friend and a girl, like a, a co-worker that you're like feeling and you're texting and doing sexy stuff. Talk, sexy no, talk. No, it, it wasn't sexy talk. Yeah. It was flirty talk. Uh, yeah, because that does constitute the emotional but I'm not cheating. And I'm not texting any guys talking about some, hey, I'm thinking of you, yeah, boo. Yeah, but you be on that little, that, what is that, the, uh, the donut, the little talk service, be talking to all kind of dudes. I'll never say nothing about it because I, I trust you. Hi, Justin Timberlake. <laughs> <laughs> all right? I ain't never say nothing about it. 
Um, okay, so do you think that they should stay together or not? You know, I feel like you're not ready for marriage. I feel like no. you're always going to be in each other's lives, maybe not marry. Yeah, there will but be But you're not there. ready for marriage. You're incompatible, what we call incompatible soulmates. Not all soulmates can live together. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? And Aquinas, you are addicted to drama. Let's be honest yes. here. Yes. You are a drama well, queen. what's that about? I say I'm addicted to drama. I would want to say drama's addicted to me more. Oh, okay. Okay. When you're oh, it man, comes no. to you. I try to run away from it, and it just manages. Just like, oh tag no, honey, me. that is so not true. <laughs> That is not true. You are mm. seeking it, but you don't know that you're seeking it. Yeah. Yeah. It's a familiar pattern. And so you attracted David into your life for a reason. He mirrors something for you. That was, I think, yeah. happened in your childhood. And I'm not sure what that was, but there was an insecurity that you developed early on. And you attracted him so he could help you heal that and work on that insecurity. You need to find love within yourself, sweetheart. We have a couple of more and seconds. Let's talk about the insecurity when you were little. Um, I just like had a lot of problems with you know a lot of kids at school and everything used to get a lot of fights a lot and just a lot of you know problems with, with the kids at school a lot mm -hmm. that you know I don't yeah. think a kid, child should have been going through. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so maybe you're seeking out that same drama now even though you don't want to and even though that was awful it's kind That's of familiar. Right. And you have to know that you deserve a, a guy to treat you great and to treat you like the beautiful chocolate, sexy angel that you yes. are. You're beautiful. You're beautiful girl. You deserve that. Your skin is absolutely beautiful. Like, your skin looks like Beverly Johnson hot cocoa yes. steaming with marshmallows. Beautiful. I mean, you know, you have to know that. You have to know that you deserve the best. Yes. And maybe David is the best, but just he ain't right now. We've been going this like almost a year and a half now, and it's like you can only take so much from a person. Exactly, girl, and I say don't take it anymore. Right. That's all. Break up with him. <laughs>